So, as per usual, I'm depressed again. If you saw the last video, I was happy. And now I feel like crap. You know, mind you, um, it has to do with uh, a little, you know, lack of sleep. But it also has to do with um, I don't feel I can accomplish all the little things I need to do and that's because of the lack of sleep and I need to sit down to do things like activate my credit card which I brought with me like prepare for the CPR course that I'm going to teach well he didn't get back to me but I got to do it because he's a he's pretty um not good at getting back so at least i'll try to prepare something but also do my taxes and my accounting and like those things i can't even sit down because <clears throat> of the time it takes to get to switch my mind over i like this the trees in the background so i feel like i'm not able to do anything Because my mind is so, you know. But I love the fact that my working out, my workouts have been great, really good. I'm progressing. I'm not injuring myself. Well, I'm paying attention to them. Of course, I'm stiff now. But it was going away, and then, you know, you gotta be careful, and you gotta keep up on that to make sure it's, that you maintain mobility. You know, you don't overuse your body. So, at least I don't. But anyways. On another side note, I was thinking about the uh, guy I met a couple of days ago at the establishment. But I've spoken to him before. But I don't know, he contacted me yesterday when I was at the gym with a kiss and said, don't work too hard. <laughs> Which is like a projection. Because most of his Instagram photos, he's like lazy to get up and all that. That's who I attract. I guess people resemble my mom. You know. Um, you know, hefty guys, but loving. You know, but broken. I don't know. I kind of like that. But yeah, and I don't expect him to contact me all the time because that would be bad. But I, I, I would like something to, at least to keep in contact, and who knows? So I'm a little doubtful of that, even though he did contact me yesterday. It's really weird. So, yeah. Because most people, they contact you, and then when they're in town, they ghost you. Or, well, I actually am pretty upfront, and I said, "Would you like to meet?" And then they you know they don't answer, or they answer a day later. Sorry, I missed the, I missed it. Whatever. And that's the way it is. You know. 
because there are so many options out there, right? And most of these people who do that are in uh, relationships already. So they're not, they kind of get, they're put into another category of um, if it happens, it happens, but otherwise don't waste your time. But that is the most of it. So, I don't know. If you don't know, my whole thing is about trying to get, you know, relationships, any. So, just missed the subway so we are Sunday so it's going to take like 15 minutes before the next subway goes so there are mine things that I need to do today that I want to do or that I need to do like I said go over CPR stuff, the documentation, go over, well, activate my credit card, which I'll do at the gym. I'm probably going to transcribe some uh, uh, bills that I already wrote, uh, wrote down in my bullet journal and scanned. I'll transfer them into the Excel sheet. I should look at the other bank statements to correlate with that, but one thing at a time, I really have to break things up into single things. And just like grooming, it's like one little bit at a time. I put some minoxidil here, do something else, let it dry. Because otherwise it'll drip. But I got other things to do. And this is just doing the basics, you know? And that, that's what kind of, I guess, gets me down. It's like, I got to do it that way. And my focus is terrible. And how am I going to be able to, like, if I ever one day decide to go to nursing school and then I have to study for four hours straight, how am I going to do that? Now, I do know with sleep, it helps better. But my working out takes up time, work. You know what I mean? It's like I'm really trying to figure out a groove. And it's... I'm fine I don't have control of it, you know? I'm just, I guess, normal. This is the thing about um, where I work at the living facility. There are older people, even younger people with, like, certain dementias and cognitive problems and not they need people to help them they some of them are really like they tell you what to do bossy you know they're very particular and I understand it because it's like homeless people here when they go into like a psychosis and they're like screaming and talking to themselves and they need to be it's their ego they need to be able to control something and and be heard so they either tell you what to do keep control of, of that or they'll scream and so get attention that way you know so again that's kind of what I like about this job is that it keeps me keeps it real, you know. Um, I missed the cl- the appointment with my client yesterday. I thought it was. I mentioned that that two videos ago. I mentioned it that he texted me and I was already gone. And I was like, we. He said he had an event yesterday and he couldn't make it. But then he texted me and says he can make it. As if we made the appointment. I looked in my bullet journal and I see that it was still there. I didn't cross it out. Now I'm doubting myself 
I probably didn't understand him because he communicates really badly. And so I know on sleep deprivation, I, I forget things, I lose things, I, you know? So that bothers me too. Oh, I saw another guy from work at the gym yesterday. The one that all the women find good looking. It's so weird. So there's two people I know who were at my gym. Not everyone goes to the gym. There's the there's a few, obviously. Two that I know of, including not including me. Everyone else, I don't understand. They just But most people have children. So I guess they can't do that. <sighs> yeah, 